Welcome back. Please like and subscribe to our channel. And now the original message. For a second, I want you to think about someone or a group of people or even the whole world. As you are doing so, I want you to wish them the best, raise them up, and see that they are worthy of unconditional love. See them as this amazing being who no matter what they have done deserves unconditional love. Know that they are more than a physical body. They are so much more than the character they portray. Connect a genuine sense of love to whoever you're imagining and feel it. Visualize them feeling it radiating off of you. Now, what did that do for you? Did you lose yourself? Did you lose your ego in that love? Did it feel like you weren't even there, and it was just this love and whatever you were imagining? Did you notice all of your self-judgment instantly fall away? Judgment completely falls away in love. All of the problems in your life didn't exist during that whole practice. The ego didn't exist during that whole practice if you genuinely participated in it. Do you see how fast the ego drops away when you are being love? It happens instantly. And when you are being love, you are being yourself, your true self. Whenever you experience love, know that's what you are. So many of us can find it hard to find that love within ourselves. Our identity to these ego-created characters can make love appear as if it's something we have to search for. The ego needs love from others. The ego needs something in return if you show love. The ego can brag about how much love it gives. But the ego doesn't even know love because it doesn't know you. Now I want you to notice this. If you can send love out the way you just did, doesn't this already mean that you already have the love you seek for? How could you give something without having it already? You already have all the love you think you need. Because you are the source of it, and you have an infinite supply of it, you can't run out of yourself, no matter how much you give. And it's not like you're giving it to someone separate from you. I know it may appear that way but you're truly giving that love to yourself when you give it to others, because you are everything and everyone. I know how easy it may be to send out that love to others, and I know it's a little more difficult to include your character and that love sometimes. But try it. See if you can direct that same love towards your character there may be some resistance, and that's fine. Practice doing this, send out love, then realize, if I can send out love, that must mean I already have it, and then include yourself in that love. Even though you are not a human at the core, and you are not the ego-created character, you are having a human experience. So this doesn't mean that you reject and label that part of consciousness as something bad. Your desire to see through the ego shouldn't be coming from a negative place, meaning you shouldn't be labeling the ego as something bad. All that does is cause unnecessary conflict. 
resistance and it keeps the illusion of it feeling solid and real. Even though this experience is all an illusion, that doesn't mean you completely go dark and you no longer enjoy it. It will only be hard to enjoy if you hate the ego, because the ego is what we use to help us enjoy this experience. It's the character we use to play the game. Once you awaken to what you truly are, it's not like you will never have a thought again. Ego death isn't the death of ego. It's more so the clear seeing that it's not what you are. It's the drop of identity completely, which soon makes you realize that you are everything. That everything is you, you realize that all of life is literally a dream within consciousness. And this is the character you are experiencing in your own dream. Even though it's not necessarily real, it's still fun to participate as if it is you are consciousness. And this whole world is within you, all of it. All eight billion people are within you, including the body you are experiencing currently. It's within you, you are not in it. So when you send this love out to others, you're actually sending it to yourself because everyone is you. Giving is receiving, and if you feel as if you lack something in life, it's most likely because you aren't giving that out. The ego is so focused on being selfish. I need love for myself. I need acceptance for myself. I need validation for myself. The first reason why this doesn't work is because there isn't actually an ego here to get anything. The ego doesn't truly exist. It's just an illusion that's blinding you from the truth that you already are what you seek for. That you truly already have everything you desire within yourself, because nothing exists outside of you, it's all within, all of it. If you find it hard to show love, it's because the ego is creating a story about what may happen if you do, or it's focused on what will it get from this person if you do, it's needy. It needs something in return, but you don't. There's nothing you need if you already have it. You are the source for everything, and to prove that you have it already, give it to someone else, because you can't give what you don't already have. I also want to add that this doesn't mean to lose your self-respect when giving out love. That's why it's important to include yourself in it. If you are so focused on only loving someone else and not including yourself in it, you will have weak boundaries. You may become codependent and a people pleaser and pleasing isn't love. That comes from fear. If you don't include yourself, you won't speak up for yourself you won't be able to express anger in a healthy way. The list goes on. This love that you are is powerful. There is nothing weak about it. He may think anger is more powerful than love when in reality anger is rising from fear. We tend to choose an unhealthy expression of anger or even suppress it to create some sort of shield to protect ourselves from something that isn't truly destructive to us at all. So don't look at love as this soft thing. Call it power, because that's what it is. It's what you are. You are the most powerful thing here. Everything's created out of you, and this isn't a power over others. If you feel like it is, that's coming from the ego. This power is resting in sameness. It's what everyone truly is. Don't even attach an identity to anybody. Because nobody is actually here, there's just this power. 
If you see this power in everyone regardless of the conditions, you will see it in yourself.